I think where women get it all wrong is when we are making kids for men. I think where we get it all wrong, you guys, like the wrong direction, in it, is when we are getting pregnant for men or to impress men. you guys. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Sean Mutlabe and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time here, just know that you are welcome. Please talk with your brother, let's look at my sister and be comfortable and if you are a returning subscriber and this is your vibe period <laughs> then you know that i appreciate you so much now you guys today we'll be talking about two different topics starting with casper Novest, you guys because he is currently trending so casper Novest is trending because he is allegedly you guys getting married and no he's not marrying his baby mama he is marrying another woman whose, whose name is pulani i think her other name is natasha a beautiful 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 lady by the way and a lot of people are just like no 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 what is going on here? If you guys still remember, Casper Vesta went to um, Bumini Daba's um, podcast where he revealed that he was struggling with sex addiction and now he is like, he gave his life to Jesus Christ and everything now is like, everything now in another direction like Dilolita Maya, smoother and also him like taking accountability for breaking his baby mama's heart you guys like he literally told us that his cheating game was on another level he will literally drive guy 3 a.m just to go have sex with other women leaving his own not his own he did not marry her leaving his um baby mama at home literally you guys and coming back in the morning acting like nothing happened you know so fine why do people were trying to like digest all of that Chiki Chiki, Casper is allegedly getting married. Okay, is he back together with the baby mama? No, he is marrying a girl called Bulani, and apparently, um, the girl is his um childhood um sweetheart. And people are just like, no man, something does not make sense. I saw Promise Makunyan's comment where she said, "Hi man." Casper Nyovest was still with his baby mama last year around June and now he is marrying this girl. Something does not add up. So people believe that Casper Nyovest was probably cheating on his baby mama with Bulani. So they've probably been um together for the like for like lo the longest time, you guys. So the debate now, you guys, is that oh um women should never um get pregnant for men that um did not marry them, you know. And some women are saying no, but even if we get married, he can still leave. And I agree with all of these opinions, but my opinion, you guys, I just feel like marriage or no marriage, it does not guarantee Hore the man will be around. So you getting married to your person does not mean they will be around. You can marry someone and and still be single, you guys. You can still be in marriage, you can still have that certificate, but then you are still a single mother, okay? So, I think I'm kind of like 50-50 with that. Yes, I think a man must show his intention by marrying you, I guess. But then again, I just feel like women should also not make children for men. I think that is where we get it all wrong. Making kids for men, that is where we get it all wrong because when he start now to like drag his feet, when he start now um, not being a present father, you are going to resent those kids because you did not want them in the first place. You are going to be um, having like anger issues now towards your children. So I think personal opinion, by the way. So I think the only... Thing that we can do right as women is just by wanting kids for ourselves like I know you guys sometimes people just feel like ah I want to my husband want kids or my boyfriend want kids but do you want kids do you want kids because no matter what those kids are gonna be stuck with you for the rest of your life like guys motherhood does not have breaks unfortunately you don't just wake up one day and be like mm -mm, man today I don't feel like 
I don't feel like being a mother or it's not like a um go vasi to get a home I don't feel this um nursing course. I wanna swap to law i want to swap to like llb you know you don't do that when it comes to motherhood you are gonna be get permanent no even permanent job you guys this one get a lifetime thing like ahona ahona break ya now you're no longer holiday has when i'm mother no so one kid for yourself you solved all the problems and also being financially um stable that is the um that is one thing that it plays a very big role when it comes to motherhood. Like, just be financially stable and want those kids for yourself. Do you want those kids? Do you want to be a mother? That is where I'm, I think that is one one of the questions we should be asking ourselves. Like, where now? Okay, fine. Your boyfriend wants kids, but do you want kids? Your husband wants kids, but do you want kids? Do you want kids? If the answer is no, Tell your partner that mm -mm, man, I, I actually don't want kids. Then you can take it from there. But if you yourself want to be a mom, kudos. That is cool. Have those kids for yourself. If you are financially stable and also you wanted those kids, even if he drags his feet, you won't have like such a big problems in your life. Where now, when you look at your kids, you're just like, how is it really decision that we just more life in our it was like the worst decision of your life it shouldn't be like that and i don't wish that to be another woman's situation because i don't think it's a really nice um situation to be in you guys i was watching one podcast i don't remember but one woman said i have money i have literally everything i give this kids everything i just want this man to be present i just want this man to be there you know to be there when they when his kids want him and i think that is um one of the things that we should be worrying about as mothers not hurry oh my god where is the money yes he should take care of his kids but also if he want he if he don't want to what are you going to do if you're not financially stable but if you are financially stable your problems will be lesser the only thing you will be worried about the only thing you will be concerned about is this man being present in 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 his children's life and i think that is kind of like not it is a big deal. I don't want to say it's not a big deal, but I just feel like it's not something that now you would even think of um, deleting yourself just because you don't have money to take care of the kids. The man also doesn't want to take care of the kids. Um, You don't have a place. Like, life is more and worse and worse and worse. That, um, honestly, before we consider making kids, I think it's very important to be financially stable, you guys. So with the topic, Yahore, um, men knows what they want. Yes, men knows exactly what they want. Men, guys, I'm recording at night. I don't want to repeat what I always say in my videos. So men knows what they really want. Men knows, Yahore, this is the woman they're going to marry. Trust me, you guys, men knows exactly what they want. With women, we tend to like settle nyana, like ah, he's gonna change. Um, but it's okay. But with men, if you are like nyaka musa don't matter na maga, otro nyaka yen and o nyala yen. But with us, even if ona matter nyana man yan, just like mm, okay. But I can work with that because his personality, his character, wara wara wara, you know. With women, sometimes we tend to be like, na le empathy nyana. But men, men knows their worth men stand by their ground you guys like they know exactly what they want but because we cannot read their minds at least solve those kind of problems like the fin the financial situation having your own place having some um, um um backup then we get out we get that out of the way then you will you will be now dealing with your partner if he changes along the way then that is also okay because now you, you are not going to be those parents who are now like struggling just because now you don't have anywhere to go you know so yeah i think the the only important thing for me guys it's just being um, mentally stable to have um, children and also being financially stable. That is my worry when it comes to the whole thing. But you getting married or the man marrying you does not guarantee, Hori, you will be that person now. You will be 
in a happy marriage. People banyeji guys kamunde mara basingel. Ask yourself this question. Utlabo wenu unyeju just because unyaka honyala kuru ubele wana in marriage. Then afe jamu mara unyeju mara usingel. Huh? Unyeju mara. Like, I want to help, help with which I'm like, what the hell is that? You know, moving to the next topic, you guys. Um, we'll be talking about our late legend, aka. I, I, I want to be quick on this one. I was watching the court case, yaka, the trial, yaka, um, aka, with those two um suspects go eswatini, guys. Hey, well, not them laughing in court, especially the other guy, like. He was literally smiling, laughing, um, making jokes, kind of like making jokes with his friend. I'm just like, hey, bo, what's going on, guys? I will try to insert the video here. Like, what the hell is going on? I thought people, by long worry, um, they are suspects. There is nothing to celebrate. Like, literally, you are being suspected to have done something um, horrible. Then what's funny? What's really funny? Yo, guys, just the system almost everywhere is crazy. Shame. If someone can have that audacity just to be laughing in court, someone people lost their lives here. Ooh, not me saying AKA, AKA and Debello. Like, people lost their lives here. And when you are there, joking make it laughing what is there to laugh about literally like what is there to laugh about i just wanted to tell you guys about that because i know some people don't watch like those um trials so i just found out very very weird like what's funny why why are you guys like even laughing but anyway you guys i will definitely see you on my next one bye